WABC's Eyewitness News team has lost a friend and colleague. Channel 7 reporter Lisa Calagrossi died of a brain aneurysm at the age of 49 on Thursday, March 19. We have some sad news to share with you about our Eyewitness News family, the news show shared on its Facebook page Friday. Lisa Calagrossi, Eyewitness News reporter, anchor, wife and mother, has died at age 49. Lisa suffered a brain hemorrhage while returning from covering a story Thursday morning. Our thoughts and prayers are with her family. Calagrossi was rushed to the hospital following a live report from Woodhaven, Queens on Thursday. She was in the news van after finishing her live shot when she said oh my god, something is wrong, a friend said, via the New York Daily News. The Ohio native reported in the tri-state area for almost 14 years, and joined WABC days after the Nick World Trade Center attacks in 2001. She previously worked as an anchor at WKMG in Orlando, FLA, and NBC station WKYC-TV in Cleveland. Calagrossi resided in Stamford, Con, and is survived by her husband Todd, and their two sons Davis and Evan. A veteran New York television reporter has died after suffering a brain hemorrhage after covering a story. WABC-TV says 49-year-old Lisa Calagrossi was stricken while returning to the station from a fire scene Thursday. Calagrossi was taken to a hospital, where she died Friday. Calagrossi joined WABC-TV shortly after the World Trade Center attacks in 2001. She was previously an anchor for WKMG-TV in Orlando, Florida. Calagrossi began her journalism career at WKYC-TV in her hometown of Cleveland. WABC TV News Director Camille Edwards says Calagrossi's bright smile and big blue eyes lit up our newsroom. Edwards says Calagrossi had two wonderful qualities, grace and grit. Calagrossi lived in Stamford, Connecticut. She is survived by her husband and two sons.